morning. It's Thursday, January 30th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Simple and Hard versus Complex and Easy. And our scripture is Psalm chapter 15. Who may worship in your sanctuary, Lord? Who may enter your presence on your holy hill? Those who lead blameless lives and do what is right, speaking the truth from sincere hearts. Those who refuse to gossip or harm their neighbors or speak evil of their friends. Those who despise flagrant sinners and honor the faithful followers of the Lord and keep their promises even when it hurts. Those who lend money without charging interest and who cannot be bribed to lie about the innocent. Such people will stand firm forever. From this psalm, there's a wealth to be learned about integrity. And God makes it abundantly clear integrity is required to be accepted by your Creator. What's at stake is whether God will hear a single word you speak or approve a single movement, word, or thought from you. The tipping point is integrity. The word integrity means integrated, defined as the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, moral uprightness. It's a simple concept, matching your behavior with godly principles. Old sayings abound about being a person of integrity. Say what you mean, mean what you say. Actions speak louder than words. And the distance between truth and deception can be a fine line, about as wide as the Grand Canyon. Okay, that last one's not old. I just made it up now. But you get the drift of how integrity is an easy thing to understand. It's just easier understood than undertaken. That's a matter proven by a little phrase David throws in the mix at the end of verse 4 about people who keep their promises even when it hurts. It's a fact that sometimes telling a lie is just easier than telling the truth. Sunday school teacher was holding forth with her fourth graders and wanted to make a point about lying. She asked, somebody tell me, what's a lie? Nobody spoke up, so she turned to the one little girl who was her star pupil. Margaret, do you know what a lie is? Margaret thought for a moment, wanting to please her teacher and wanting her answer to be Bible-sounding. So she said, a lie is an abomination before the Lord, and sometimes a very present help in time of trouble. (laughs) I think Margaret may have opened the can of worms for us. The hardest thing to do sometimes, even though it's always the simplest thing, is to tell the truth. Telling lies is easier in the short run, but the complications down the road can, and in fact always are, blistering. A lie will have to be supported with another one, and another, until you've got Watergate syndrome, so many lies to cover the previous ones, nobody, including the liar, even remotely remembers what the truth was in the first place. And of a matter of course, you have the pain of a pile of lies. When truth takes a vacation, people get hurt. Relationships deteriorate under the strain of broken trust. People who were counting on other people had the rug pulled out from underneath them because a lie made it easier for somebody to shirk their responsibility to hold up their end of a bargain. Lies are easy and complex. Truth is simple, but sometimes hurts. That's explained in two simple verses. The first is Jesus speaking to deceptive religious leaders. He said, For you are the children of your father the devil, and you love to do the evil things he does. He was a murderer from the beginning. He has always hated the truth because there's no truth in him. When he lies, it's consistent with his character, for he is a liar and the father of lies. The second is Jesus speaking to his disciple who wanted to know. Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. For you today, easy, complicated lies or hard and simple truths, it all depends on whether you want a relationship with God or God's enemy. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.